Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing some more Am I the A-Hole stories from Reddit. So Am I the A-Hole is a thread on Reddit that people can submit their stories into and then people judge if they think that they were right or if they are the a-hole for doing whatever it is that they they say that they did so we're going to read a few of those today and down in the comments if you want to put your own judgment in or if you agree with me let me know if you agree um, but if you disagree i want let me know why what makes you disagree with what the judgment that i give this one says Am I the a-hole for refusing my future sister-in-law's request to dye my hair for my brother's wedding? So just by the title, I'm going to say no because it's your hair. Like she can't make you dye your hair even if it is her wedding. Um, but let's read it and see how it turns out. My future sister-in-law Liz has turned into a bridezilla and is going to war with everyone over every stupid thing. My natural color is red. I love my hair. Liz is a blonde, but she loves to have red hair. And in fact, ever since meeting me, she's been dyeing her hair almost exactly my color. I don't mind. I think it's weird that she does it, but I don't have a monopoly over this particular shade of red. And she's free to do with her hair whatever she wants. Well, she asked me this week that I should dye my hair to a different color because she wants her hair to be unique in her wedding. She offered to cover all the costs as well. I just said no because it's my hair. I don't want it changed. So I totally agree with that, especially if you've never colored your hair before. You don't want to ruin your hair. But let's continue. I told my brother and he told me to do whatever I want because it's my hair. He said he'll talk to Liz to get her to back off. Well, it didn't work because Liz has come to my parents and they've taken her side. They say it's her special day and we need to be more accommodating and it's important to our future relationship that we get along. I believe I am accommodating. She can do whatever she wants with her own hair. How is my hair any of her business anyway? My parents tell me that I should be the bigger person. I don't know why an 18 year old should be the bigger person compared to the 27 year old Liz. They told me I'm making this minor issue into a big problem and I should just do what she wants because it's her wedding. Am I the a-hole for not giving in? No. I think it's your hair. I don't think anyone should be able to tell you to dye your hair. I don't think that that's right. Um, I don't care if it's her wedding or not. No, you're not the a-hole. I think you were in the right. Okay, let's do another one. Am I the a-hole for forcing my husband to fly back to Greece to get our toddler's teddy bear that he left behind on purpose? Um, from the title right now, I'm gonna say yes, you are. But let's read and see what actually happens. My son has a teddy bear that he's very attached to. Since he takes it everywhere, it isn't in the best shape, and my husband has tried buying him new teddies, but he still prefers his old one. I flew home from Greece two days earlier than my son and husband. When they got here, my son kept asking for his bear, but I couldn't find it, so I asked my husband where it was. He told me he had left it there because he bought our son a new teddy that he liked more. I thought he was joking since our son will play with the new teddy, but he always goes back to his bear. I told him to go back to Greece and get it, but he laughed me off and said he would get it in two weeks as that's when he plans to go back. We ended up having a fight because I told him I was being serious and he needed to go back immediately. And he said I was being ridiculous and that was why our son was so attached to the teddy. I was even angrier when it was time for our son to go to bed, but he wouldn't stop crying because he couldn't find his bear. So I brought up how he needed to go and get it again, and I wouldn't drop it until he agreed to go sooner. Am I the a-hole? 
I think that you are both in the wrong here. I don't think that he should have left the bear there on purpose, um, but I also don't think it's that big of a deal where you need to go fly to Greece to get the teddy. He will get used to something new. So I'm gonna say yes you are, but I actually I think you both are. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. This one sounds good. Am I the a-hole for walking out of my five-year-old niece's birthday party and taking her present with me? So without knowing any other information, just the title, I'm going to say yes, but I'm sure there's a lot more to the story. So let's read and see if we change our judgment. I, 24 female, my niece, five female, and my sister-in-law, 25 female. Yesterday was my niece's birthday. My niece is my sister-in-law's firstborn, and my sister-in-law is currently pregnant with her fourth child. When I received the invitation to the party, there was a note asking everyone to not forget about the mommy when shopping for birthday gifts. I feel like that's a little weird. That my niece's birthday was also meant to celebrate the woman who carried her for nine months. No, it's not. I'll be honest, I'm not Megan's biggest fan. Megan's the sister-in-law. I've always found her to be a large drama queen. So when I read that I was supposed to bring her a present to her daughter's birthday party, I was annoyed and knew I would be doing no such thing. For my niece's birthday, I made her a large wool hand crocheted blanket and matching teddy bear. When it came time to open gifts, it was Megan sitting on a chair in the center of the living room with my nieces sitting on the floor next to her. Again, I feel like that's a little weird. Megan opened every single present, even the ones meant for my niece. It was only after she was done, she would hand the open present to my niece. Well, it sounds like this lady wants to be the center of attention. When it came time to open my present, I watch as Megan opens my gift, shuffled past the teddy bear and blanket, and proceeded to search for her gift. When Megan found no other present, she looked up and asked me if there was another present from me in the pile. I responded, no. I'm just, I'm speechless right now with this lady. Disappointed, Megan took the blanket out of the box and proceeded to ask me questions like, where did you get such a cute blanket? And I hope you didn't break the bank with such an extravagant present. Her tone of voice came across as sincere, but the way she stared at me across the room definitely gave me a different impression. I responded to her questions by saying that I made the teddy bear and blanket myself and that it was no trouble for my little niece. Megan chuckles and asks me in front of the whole party if I had actually made the gifts. I responded, absolutely. Megan and I go back and forth in front of everyone for a minute, but Megan ends the conversation by saying, I didn't actually make the gifts because I didn't collect the wool for the blanket or make the buttons on the bear myself that for something to be handmade, you have to use only your hands from start to finish, otherwise it doesn't count. Y'all, this lady's crazy. After, my mother-in-law pulled me aside. She was extremely upset with me for antagonizing Megan. No one in the family likes Megan, but my in-laws play nice because when they didn't, Megan and her husband moved halfway across the country. They just recently moved back to town. After my mother-in-law thoroughly lectured me on keeping the peace, she asked me to leave the party, go buy Megan a present, and to come back when I am ready with an apology. Instead, I left the party and took my presents with me. All day today, I have been playing telephone with friends and relatives of Megan all of them accusing me of ruining my niece's birthday party and telling me I'm an a-hole for stealing my niece's birthday presents. In my opinion, the person ruining the birthday party is the mother. The party was all about the mother and not about 
the niece whose birthday it was. And then there's a little edit at the bottom and it says, my intentions for taking the present was to rewrap the gift and give it to my niece one-on-one -on -one so she could actually open a birthday present. After her mom opened the present, she put it back in the box and back on the table and she didn't actually give the gift to my niece. So I 1000% believe that this girl is not the a-hole. The sister-in-law is the a-hole for sure. Okay guys, so those were a few of the Am I the A-Hole stories from Reddit. I will link those stories down below in the description if you wanna go and read them yourself or find them on Reddit and find some more stories to read. Um, don't forget to let me know what you think of these stories. Do you think that I judge them right? Or do you have a different opinion? Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.